Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, your boy Samson Biggs, and Nick Tregilly is back with another video. You guys, if you haven't subscribed to Bodybuilding and BS, this is a, a, a cool channel. It's uh, featuring uh, Nick Tregilly, IFBB Pro. Guy's hilarious. Um, uh, let's check out what he's got going on. Watching Chris Bumstead's most recent video of him training arms, I was like, can I tell if he's better or is he worse? Is he leaner? Is he bigger? I was like, fuck it. Let me go look at his arm workout from last year's Olympia prep and compare them. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna take a look at C-Bum from 2021 and compare it to the new C-Bum currently and see if he got better or worse. All right, guys, since we're going into the Olympia this week, I said, all right, it's a, it's a C-Bum comparison. Um, let's check it out. He puts a lot of uh, 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 advertising in his videos. So I'll probably skip through that. You know what? I got to tell him about Lava 196. So Lava 196 was a product that Old School Labs collaborated in making with Samir Banu, who won the 1983 Mr. Olympia. Not classic, open bodybuilding Mr. Olympia. So this was his formula. It's going to burn product. So if you guys want to try this right now. Got to skip through all the... the Your website looks the amazing. The selling of... Oh. Uh, Thank you. Supplements, but why you know are sales so? I'm going to show you C-Bum from we currently. It. We get we're going to compare. Does he look better? Does he look worse? Did Hani nail it with C-Bum? Because remember, C-Bum is working with Hani Rambod, not his brother-in-law, Ian Valer, for this prep. So I'm sure Chris, in the back of his mind, is a little worried. It's him and Hani's first show together ever, and it's the Olympia. And he's going for another Olympia title. There's a lot of pressure on him, but did Hani deliver? Is Chris and Hani gonna make this work? Well, I'm gonna see what you guys think because I have my opinion. So this is last year's clip of him training arms from a week out. All right, so my first thought looking at him do these bicep curls was, uh, yeah, he looks horrible. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> I was thinking, wow, I do think his arms actually came up because once you see the new clip of him training, Unless it's angles, unless it's filters, which I don't think it is. I'm like, okay, maybe his delts did get bigger. Maybe his arms did get better. Now, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. I've never been a fan of C-Bum. Uh, I just never jumped on the C-Bum train. Uh, classic bodybuilding in general. I just, I just, I grew up when I was in high school. Ronnie Coleman, Phil Heath, uh, 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 Jay Cutler. These were the guys that I was watching, right? Bigger than big. <laughs> Monstrosities, right? And I just can't look at classic physique and be like, impressed. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know. I, I, I I, but it just doesn't do anything for me. I just look at it and go, I see you. Uh, I'm bigger than you. <laughs> you know, you're cut. You're more cut, but I'm bigger. So I got to I got to see big. You know, I got to look. I got to see something I look up to. It's not necessarily about getting bigger to be better either. Don't get that twisted. Exactly. But I think with another year of him training, muscle maturity started to kick in a little bit more. He's getting older and Muscle maturity is a very, very amazing thing to happen to your physique. Once you experience it, you're gonna really fully understand what I'm talking about because unless you're actually going through this period in your life, if you're a bodybuilder, you're not gonna really value how important it is because that muscle maturity is like, it's like getting a lottery ticket in bodybuilding because once that kicks in, your body just, transforms like, like literally overnight you're like holy shit i never had that before what is that muscle like why is my skin so thin i've never seen these details before these striations and i think that's what's happening to chris's physique like right now i think we're seeing chris i'll give it to these guys man getting shredded is something i could never do um you know so you gotta respect the game you know i respect that they could get shredded you know, but again, I'm a, I'm a bigness is all I care about. Right. Big and shredded. I mean, of course that's the goal. Uh, uh, you know, but, uh, 
hit his stride in his bodybuilding career because he has so much more dense muscle in his delt, his tries, his biceps, his forearms, his chest, his traps, his back, than he does here. Like more of a man now. Here it's still like baby sea bum in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though it's only a year ago, it looks like he's aged, and not in a bad way, I mean like matured, a lot, and not even just his body, his facial structure, everything. It really depends on how many years you have training prior to that period of time. That's really gonna determine when you hit this like muscle maturity stride. And I think Chris at this point is finally hitting it because he doesn't have this dense hard muscle on his physique last year. Now granted, he looks phenomenal last year. He's still good enough to win but I never was that overly concerned with Chris's upper body. This year, I was very concerned about his quads and his hams because we haven't seen them much. We haven't seen him talk about them that much since he injured his quad. And the only time we did see him is when he pulled his shorts up with Hani and it made me really, really think something is going on with his legs because of that injury that he had a couple weeks back. But that's just me speculating. We don't know for sure if his legs are better or worse than last year. I mean, we're gonna find out next week, but we also do have to remember he already had a torn hamstring and now he hurt his quad not that long ago. So I'm wondering if these things are gonna have a serious effect on yeah. his physique Injuries come showtime. Suck, man. And after watching this clip of him training upper body, I think his biceps have gotten better, especially the brachialis, which this is the muscle right here. It attaches to your forearm and it goes right up the middle between your bicep and tricep. And that's what adds a lot of thickness to your arms. And here, Chris is really missing that. He really needed to work on that. But once you see the new clip of him, you're gonna be like, oh wow, that muscle did get better. Oh yeah, his delts are thicker and more dense. I think by him being able to bring up even just this one little muscle, it's really helped the shape of his arms because Chris has very short muscle attachments. And unlike anywhere else on his body, he has very long muscle bellies and very good muscle insertions, but his arms don't. And he talks about it in this video actually, specifically saying, I have very short muscle bellies, I need to work on my brachialis. And he did just that because the arm workout of him now, his arms look much better. You don't notice the short muscle attachments as much as you used to, which is a good thing. Now, I also was taking a look at his conditioning uh, last year versus now. I think it's relatively the same. It's very hard to tell because he's in the gym. So we really have to wait to see what Chris looks like on stage, but it's always fun to speculate before a show if a guy got better or if he's worse. And that's all I'm doing. Just having some fun here, taking a look at Chris train arms. Now let's take a look at Chris from his most recent arm workout. And I wanna hear what you guys think. Also, Shoulders tell me in the comments, popping. do you think Chris did make the necessary improvements in his biceps, in his triceps, in his forearms, in his delts, whatever muscles you could see and take a look at in this video. Do you think he looks better than he did last year? My immediate reaction was like, damn, yes, I do think his arms look improved and his delts, especially his medial delts look much bigger. It looks like his shoulders look much wider and broader compared to last year. He's much fuller. I think he's even harder here than he was last year. Yeah, I think that's because harder. the fullness of the muscle is a lot more obvious here than it was last year. So I don't know what he was doing diet wise at that point last year with Ian. Maybe the diet manipulation is different this year with Hani. I would have to assume it is. So that also could be affecting the fullness of the muscle. So it doesn't mean just because at a week out, he may look worse or better here doesn't mean the result will or won't be the same on stage. It doesn't matter what you look like at a week out, two weeks out. All that matters is what you look like on stage that night. So as long as Chris is better this year, that's all that matters to him and his coach and his fans. But even him doing the exact movements that we just saw in last year's arm workout, to me, his arms look improved. It looks like his arms have gotten thicker, not only from the front, but from the side. His triceps look better, his delts look better, and the muscle maturity is really starting to kick in. I mean, from what I can tell, it does look like that to me. As I said, going into this year's Olympia, I was not worried about his upper body. I was never concerned about Chris's upper body. I was worried about the legs. Because in my opinion, the legs have never been his best body part. I'm just being honest, they never were. Even last year, even the first year he won, they were never the best. 
I never was the hugest fan of the shape of his quads or his hamstrings. And then once he suffered that hamstring tear, it kind of killed the back shots. I don't know why he still poses with that hamstring that's torn back first. I would hide that hamstring and then bring back the opposite leg that isn't torn. Now, another important thing you have to consider when you're prepping for a show in order to have that. That's crazy. You got to think about things like that, right? You got to think, uh, well, this was torn, so I need to keep it forward. And this one was the good one, so I'll leave that one back. Just, uh, I mean, to, re to, to be able to remember, I guess with repetition, if you just practice that, practice that, practice that, then you can do it without thinking about it. But it's crazy how you got to think about these kind of things, right? Hardness to your muscle is to make sure you're preserving the muscle when you're dieting. You're not dieting off all the muscle when you're trying to pull the fat off. So making sure you use the proper supplementation during this diet is very important. And that will really affect your look on stage. That's why I wanted to make sure you guys know about Lava <laughs> here we, 196. Here we go with because the... Lava 196, of course, uh, we, we, get it, we get it, we right. get it. The legs, like I said, <laughs> I'm still very, very 50-50 about. Because of the way Chris has been acting on these videos and not really showing his legs too much, and especially after that injury he had, I'm wondering if he's a little insecure about his legs. Because usually Chris will tease us with some photos. Usually we'll see like a shadowy dark photo of his legs in the garage or in the gym. Usually he'll tease us with something. This year, he's been very, very reserved. Even on every single workout video I've watched of him, he hasn't been showing us much at all until recently. Just until a couple weeks ago, he never took his shirt off. He always had a tank top on or sweatshirt. And I don't know if that's concerning or not, or if I'm reading into it too much, but I pay attention to all these little things when I'm watching these bodybuilders train. And I'm watching how they act, what they say, and to me, I feel like Chris is confident in his upper body, but not as confident in his legs. And I don't know if that's due to the injury. I don't know if it's due to a new coach, or maybe he's just teasing us, and maybe his legs look better than ever. I don't know. I'm just speculating just like anyone else is, and until we actually see him on stage, we're not gonna know the answer to those questions. But as of right now, I do believe Chris's upper body is on point to look just as good as it did last year, if not better, because he has his new coach, Hani Rambot, in his corner. And I know Hani knows what he's doing because you guys are gonna see Derek Lunsford very shortly on my YouTube channel, and Derek looks phenomenal. And every time Hani works with an athlete, Hani usually delivers. So at the end of the day, I'm very confident Hani's intelligence to peak athletes share your guys yeah hottie ramboid man he knows what he's doing he may he, he was the guy behind phil heath you know what i'm saying well him and uh jay cutler you can't forget jay cutler is the real reason why he phil heath got to where he got to well phil heath is the reason why phil heath got to where he got to but with the help of jay cutler let's let's be honest nice comments let me know what you guys think after seeing both clips do you think chris is going to be better or worse at this year's mr olympia and explain why. Don't just give me better or worse. Tell me why. And I think uh, he's going to be better. I don't know. I didn't really pay attention to Seabom. Like I said, I don't really pay attention to Classic. I'm going to start paying a little bit more attention to Classic just for you guys. So I can give my opinion on things. Um, it's never good to give your opinion on things that you don't know about. Um, I know about bodybuilding. Uh, I know about open I know about the big guys, <laughs> but the medium guys, I just, uh, medium is medium to me. Like medium is like medium is really small, you know, but whatever. We're going to take a look at these guys and see how well they do. I'm going to, I'm going to watch this Mr. Olympia coming up. We're going to have some opinions about it. And uh, uh, you guys let me know your opinion. Who are you following? Who are you looking to um, for the Mr. Olympia contest that's coming up? It's your boy, Samson Biggs, and we'll be back with more videos shortly.